Intuitive Tennis made a video on whether or not we should hit through three balls. Coach Nick came to the conclusion that we should not hit through three or five balls. So naturally, his viewers drew comparisons with famous coaches like Rick Macy and Patrick Morataglu. This is the second part of this series. Tennis coaches are some of the worst actors on the face of the planet. It's not our forte, but we use it as a way to teach our students how not to play tennis. Coach Nick performs a series of swings, a forehand, a one-handed backhand, a two-handed backhand, and a backhand slice. In all these examples, he performs an extreme exaggeration by seeing three supersized balls at contact, linear towards the net. Now, I don't know who the many pros teaching this that Coach Nick is referring to, and hence the problem with debunking coaches that don't exist. As terrible as coaches are at acting, we coaches are also just as terrible with our words. Coaches have difficulty in expressing exactly what they experience because it is as if we are tasked with describing in various ways what a strawberry would taste like, for example. Coach Nick has described his forehand as more flat, even though it does have some spin. When you really feel the brush of the ball on your strings, it is the sensation of feeling like the ball is attached to your racket for a longer time. So what do coaches like Rick Macy and Patrick Morataglu mean when they say hit through three or five balls? I certainly don't believe that they are imagining three or five balls lined up towards the net. However your swing is, there is a comfortable reach forwards and across. Within that swing motion, there is a feeling as if you almost can touch it or hit it through three or five balls. This feel is what I relate to Oscar Wegner's modern tennis methodology. Through Great Base Initiative, I would learn to feel this ball in only one way. My weight transfer would encourage me to keep brushing longer forwards and then up. There is also a distinct difference when telling players to brush up on a ball and when telling players to hit through the ball. Brushing up will result in more spin applied. When players hit with too much spin, the ball tends to die with not much pace. So letting a player know they should try to hit through the ball more will result in a more solid contact. In conclusion, I disagree with Coach Nick's debunking of this tip because it was exaggerated wrongly and did not attempt to see the ball in more than one path. And because we use certain tips to attain certain feels which varies from student to student.